It's back o'clock. Are we? Are we back? We are. Um, the sharp eyes, sharp eyed amongst you, might notice that we are in the wrong game. This isn't Pokemon Scarlet. It's true. This is Violet. That is also true. Um, we're here to shiny hunt an Iron Valiant. Oh, I found one. But what's that? Perfect timing. Thanks, bud. Um, uh, that's my backup. Uh, we're going to do one hunt on stream, and if we catch one, great. If not, that one's ready to be traded over to Scarlet. It's a picnic set. What do you want to do? I would like to make an sandwich. Picnic. Who is so, it? So, there's two main ingredients I can use, either tomato or pickles. Uh, for me, it's going to be pickles uh, because they are easier to place on a sandwich. Uh, so we have two pickles, three peppers. We're going to go with yeah, spicy and salty. As long as you don't do sweet and sour. Yeah. Uh, you can actually... Um, do too sweet and too sour and too salt. Just regular salt, and it will also work. Uh, but there we go. I'm going to use the heroic sword pick. You need to pick more picks? No. I got exactly what I need. Unless you mess up. You did save before this, right? Uh, yeah. A while ago. But I haven't done anything important since the save. I should drop an ingredient. It'll be fine. He's got this, Nathan. He wouldn't fuck up live on the internet where we can clip it and keep it forever. So presumably we like cut up the sandwich and like serve it. All these different Pokemon. No, they just take a, a bite past the sandwich, past the JPEG. Lost well, pickle there, Nathan. I don't know how that works. It'll be fine. How does, how does the sandwiches work? I have no fucking idea. It's fine. It is, as Game Freak would have you believe, needlessly complex. Um, it literally does not matter that I'm fucked up. I know you can just like, you know, the top bread doesn't matter. I know that. See. Uh, but the, the long and the short of it is that every ingredient has a type, a category, and a uh, uh, value for it. Uh, and different thresholds of each get you different effects. I sat down once to try and help somebody figure out sandwiches, look through all the math once for like an hour. Uh, and then my brain exploded. Yeah, it's insane to try to do it yourself. Just look up a guide. 
Yeah, well, just, there are just guides and there do are a like, Google search for effect you want. Yeah, because it, it, there are some effects that there is there is no practical way to. Do. Um, there is also a um, a sandwich simulator now. Yeah, and I, I basically that oh is God, I thought not that a was... shiny one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We are in fighting, like, so if we find this early, I might come out here and try to get a, a big hands, just for fun. An iron. That means... Normal. So it isn't just going to pop out. Um, shiny hunting in this game is easy. It's not. Like, unless we get absurdly lucky, it's not going to be, like, two minutes here. Um, so. Uh, welcome to the next 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes. Uh, so, my question is, what do you think the significance of the symbols on the ground is? I'm going to be absolutely furious if we never find out. If the DLC just doesn't address it. Um, oh, I mean, the symbols be. show up in other places. Um, particularly, they are in the... Uh, I'm not going to show you right okay. now. Yeah, um, that central area, especially. Um, like there's, a, there's a plaque. Yeah. Uh, but they also show up on the sides of your trainer card. And like they even have like a really good like vantage point that you can get up here and look at. That's yeah. exactly where I'm going to, because you will also get uh, Iron Valiant spawns up here sometimes. Yeah. Right. Uh, it also yeah. kind of despawns everything down there, so every once in a while I'll pop it there. But yeah, this this symbol here shows up in one of the corners of your trainer card. Oh, I got two spawns of the dog. Uh, so. Ian, just for your benefit, uh, Shiny Iron Valiant has a more metallic color, and the inside of its cape is not green, yet, nor is it hair. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the I'm deeply disappointed by all of the Iron Shinies. I think some of them look better than others. Um, I actually kind of like uh, uh, Iron Thorn, the Tyranitar one, uh, if Shiny did yeah, I was. I will admit, I have, some of them look better than us. I have not been very. Good. This is the problem with doing fighting. Uh, Flabebe, Flabebe is the problem with doing uh, fairy. I did test both of them earlier today. There's not a there's not a perfect sandwich to, to do this. I will admit I would not eat a pepper and pickle sandwich. Yeah, but you don't like you definitely don't like peppers that much. Uh, bell peppers are okay, but I like them. Hold on, turn back around. Yeah. It was a gold duck. I told you not to worry, not to panic when you see a gold duck. Okay. You're right. Help. Just let him. Leap a leap him. At a distance, Golduck looks like these shiny Iron Valiants. Well, and, and it was just like a blur of... It, it was a vaguely human-shaped thing yeah. with a uh, yeah. different color. Yeah. And I had just looked up from my game, so... Oh, I forgot. I wanted to do the the trade before I started this. I'm sorry, guys. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, help me remember to do that once we catch it. Uh, I am going to trade a uh, booster energy to Ian uh, right now, and then he's going to trade me one into uh, Violet later.
creepy. Name the or is that line? Dragalgan. Dragalgan, you got it. No. Um I really don't remember. Um uh, Midforms, I will admit, I can never remember midform names to save my god. Um I don't even know if I could get all of the starter forms. Uh, especially later ones. Um You know, I you know, I can get you know Ivysaur, War Turtle, Charm uh Charmeleon. You almost uh, forgot Charmeleon. I almost I almost uh, fucked up Charmeleon. I would say it is easier when I'm naming all three of a particular line. Yeah. Uh, For the record, the mid form of the Dreepy line is named Rack. Yeah. Is named what? Draclock. Um Like I know them, but like being able to actually pull them out is um but like uh, yeah, if someone says what's a draclock, I know that. Yeah. But being yeah, able no, to mid, summon, summon yeah, that mid, name. Mid forms, yeah, yeah, mid forms, I'm. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm. I'm and I'm going to be real. A lot, of, a lot of them I read and don't necessarily say out loud. So I'm not very used to pronouncing it. So, um, ah, the English problem. Yeah. I believe uh, that's what the Irish have been talking about for decades. Yes, uh, but uh, this is a prime example of a homophone. Things that sound the same but mean different things. But I assume that's the symbol or whatever that the ancient explorer group, whatever the that group that came that initially came down here and set up all of the research stations and all that. Do you think it is the hidden treasure of Area Zero? I don't know this if it's symbol. It, yeah. Like I don't know if it is, but I'm sure it annotates something that we're gonna do as Damn. part of the hidden. Dog. Which is technically true of like any dog. Yeah. Um. But like the Pommy line, I can barely remember any of them. It's Pommy, Pommon, which Pommon I, is the final. Oh yeah, which is the final form, and the mid form is Pommo. 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 Um. If the middle form wasn't called Palmo, I would assume that the T was silent in Palmont. I would pronounce that one Palmo if Palmo didn't exist. Uh, P O M E A U. Yeah. Palmo. That's the regional variant from Kalos that yeah. we would have. Palmo. Um, but, like, a lot of, like, early gen mid-form Pokemon I could probably, uh, I'd be able to get, but, like, later on, no. Uh, I'm gonna be real. Um, what the fuck? That was Iron Jugulus. Oh, right. Wrong one. Forgot that. I forgot which dragon was in which game. Not a dragon. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm like, that shouldn't be spawning here, that should be spawning in the other game. Now, I think the only reason it's flying type is because they decided they needed a flying type paradox. Because they wanted to have at least one of every type. Yeah, that kind of tracks. Should have made some fly flight. 
Should have made what? No, Ian. They needed another very psychic Pokemon. They didn't have enough. You know. It's like what they did with Poltergeist. It's a grass ghost Pokemon because we didn't have enough of those. Shane, this is the sixth week in a row you brought in a grass ghost type to show and tell. Shane! What? What was a better impression than. You know, Rusty. I bet you could cosplay Mrs. Uh, Fowl if you, like, really put some effort into it. I will not put some effort into it. <laughs> there are very few things that I will 100% promise to you. That's one of them. I won't promise that I won't do a Mrs. Fowl cosplay. I will promise that it will be the lowest of effort. <laughs> Can I, can I get it here? You say, uh, I miss them all so much except Sheen. I miss them all so much! Except Sheen! Fuck! Not bad. It drifted a little into, uh... uh Danny Uncle Asbestos. Uncle Asbestos. But... We, we all know Rusty give, has two voices. If you give Rusty enough time with any voice... It, it, it will eventually become Uncle Asbestos. Yeah, that's, that's just how Rusty voice works. I think it. I think uh, I disagree. I think it drifted farther away from Uncle Asbestos as I kind of got a handle on it. I think it started more Uncle Asbestos. But uh, in my in my own personal opinion. I will say, though, uh, Iron Valiant's Glaive is very cool. Oh, it's one of the coolest Pokemon. I like the way it pops out and then it grabs it and then it extends. It's, it's very cool. You just like Look, weapon. fans of Pokemon with sword limbs are eating good this gym. Do you like your Pokemon to have have swords attached to their body. Also, it's animation for uh, non-contact attack, uh, or that it fires like out of its like, chest, like Iron Man. That's like, also pretty. Like it, it fires like a unibeam. Much time we got left. We are just a little over halfway done with this attempt. So how many sandwiches did it take you to get your last one? Two. It's not bad. Good sandwich. Which is, I think, my average for shiny hunting. And I bet if you went through uh, the averages, that, that sounds about right. About an hour. The ones that spawn in sleeping always trip me up. Because like, huh. they're not on. Yeah. They have to like power up. Uh, I so just cannot understand why they did not follow the normal shiny scheme for these paradoxes. Well, they're all the, the the thing they have all all future paradox Pokemon have in common is that they're uh, metallic. Yeah, they're all boring iron. They're they're all monochrome. Literally monochrome. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, shiny uh, Maridon, it is all chrome. Yeah, they all are. They're, they're all chrome down. Uh, a sparkling power level 3 sandwich uh, is 1 in 1,024 odd. Uh, and that does not factor in the shiny charm. So. 
Yeah, yeah that, I was thinking that puts around it at, um, one in five hundred. Yeah, I was. I was thinking so. I bet if you counted however many spawned while you did uh, two sandwiches, it's about two fifty. I, I would guess it would be about yeah five hundred yeah. uh, or about two fifty per sandwich or so. Uh, so that would be about right within the expected odds. Yeah, and it goes faster if you can find a, a sandwich that will spawn only one type. Um, so you don't have all of these excess spawns and you're only spawning in the, the one Pokemon. The Pokemon you're looking for. Yeah. Um, there's two things that we're working against here. One, there's a bunch of fairy or fighting types that will spawn in here as well. So we're not fully limited there. Uh, the other thing is that we've got several zone types. This does not sp uh, stop water Pokemon um, and flying Pokemon from spawning over the water uh, in this zone. And um, it does not stop the underground Pokemon from spawning. Um, those zones will continue to spawn whatever they normally spawn. Um, because sandwiches does don't prevent. They don't every, stop spawns. Yeah. They just change oh. every spawn to that type if they can. Yeah. If there's something in that spawn zone of that type, it'll change it. Yeah, that's why uh, we keep getting all of these dragons and and uh, and ducks uh, over here. And dogs. Uh, this is a weird version of uh, um, Duck Hunt? No. Dragons and dogs and ducks, oh my. <laughs> Lions and tigers and bears, oh my? That's what I'm trying to say, yes. Why can't I, I say it? Is that is that little thing, does that little rhyme, I guess, have, have a name? I mean, it's just, it's a song from uh, The Wizard of Oz. That's the like thing. I know. That's what I could not say. Why couldn't I not say The Wizard of Oz? Yeah. And I know it's from The Wizard of Oz, but again, it's kind of taken on its own. Uh, no, it's not it's like, like a, 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 named, a named kind. Of, it's not like a limerick. It doesn't have a named kind of rhyme or something. You know, I didn't know if, if people love naming shit. I didn't know if it's like the because it's been referenced by so in so much other media and all of that. If it's like you know, well, you maybe it does. the Aussie and rhyme or something like it's that. It's possible that it does have a name. Yeah, uh, like, I'm, I'm sure it's a trope. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I, I wonder. I mean, that's what I'm asking. Do, do you think that that I mean, maybe a name for like that particular cadence? Yeah, like that. Yeah, in, like token verse. Yeah, like. Uh, well, I'm not necessarily asking for that cadence, like, but like, you know, like TV tropes would call it like, you know, they had a reference to the Aussie, yeah, yeah, or the Aussie trope or the Aussie limerick or whatever, the blank of blank of blank of my. I'm gonna name it. It's the Oh My sequence. did it. Now it has a name. Job right. Right. You're right. People do like naming things. That felt good. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Oh My Sequins, which is a particularly sparkly dress worn by George K. Oh my. Oh. Uh, oh my. Just about to say, I think sticking to this right wall is doing better. I'm getting better spawns out of it. And then I ran into a dog. Yo, what's up, dog? How much time we got left? About ten minutes. No, so we are, we do already have one. Uh, if we don't catch one. Uh, I have a backup, and we're just going to move. 
Uh, the other thing is if you do get, find yourself like somehow cornered off like that, uh, you can do an auto battle real quick to kind of clear yourself some space. Yeah, if you're not mind numbed from this process. And it is a mind numbing process. It's so much easier and still mind numbing. What? Well, what do you mean? I loved chaining shinies with the uh, radar, uh, or you know, chaining shinies with the shaking grass. Um, I and, really but, liked it in Brilliant Diamond, uh, Shining Pearl, except that there was a chance to fail. Yep. And I don't like that. I remember doing it in Diamond Pearl. But the uh, the process of like finding the uh, you know the minimum number of steps to the next shaking grass chaining another that doesn't suck it's just that sometimes a grass will spawn too far away and you you just auto fail and it, that feels bad well and sometimes even if you even with the shaking grass there was just a person, even if you hit the shaking grass, it could just fail. Oh, I did not know that. It's a fairly, especially the longer you go, I think it like lowers that chance. But yeah, there's just always a chance that even even if you hit hit the shaking grass, it uh, can it can just not work. That's why when I like read about it, I'm like. No, that's too much work for a not a hundred percent chance of it of it working right. Bro, I'll just I'll just surprise trade until I get a shiny named Balls <laughs> To be fair, shout out to my homies at Balls.gp. They do good work. Do do good work. <laughs> so the Pokedex, uh, like when you like register a Pokemon into a Pokedex, uh, they have like a little splash page that shows up. And the one for Iron Valiant uh, is it standing in front of those crystals that like do like the mirror thing. So this one looks like it has two Billy. You Billy, your mom lets you have two. It also, I do find it impressive when I see like some of the like there is like size barrier. You can very visibly see it some of them. Some of them are taller than you, some of them are shorter than you. Most of them are taller than me because I have a, a big sandwich on it. I think. No, I don't. It's sparkling it's, and tidal and encounter. I would say it was tidal, sparkling, encounter is at least the one that you put up uh, in the Discord. So you could get Iron Valiant, the good friend, whatever the titles are. I don't know what all of the There's all are. kinds of titles uh, that yep. can show up. Yeah, the, like that one there was tiny. Yeah, yeah. One of those is very clearly a lot smaller than the other. Just a little guy. He is, in fact, just a little guy. That one's a big guy. So, we have seen Walking Wake and whatever the fuck we're calling right here. Um, Raging Bolt? Yeah, Raging Bolt. Uh, I. 
I am gonna call him Raging Bull at some point and like not mean to. That is going to happen. Um, and so, uh, what dinosaur is uh, uh, MT going to be? Uh, Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl, not a dinosaur. Uh, is a flying reptile. I I have seen some that say he's going to be uh, a triceratops. Okay. That's actually, I think that's actually more likely. Yeah. I just think pterodactyl is funny. Again, pterodactyl funny. Not a dinosaur. Yeah, you idiot. Does yeah, Pokemon babe. know or care about the difference? No, yes, care, probably not. There are people that are working at Game Freak now that were like, you know, grew up in the 80s that were fascinated by dinosaurs. I wasn't the only child that was not to imply that I grew up in the 80s. There's somebody that was like, he's the youngest guy on this tree, what the fuck? Listen, I like I dinosaurs was, as a kid. I was born in the 80s. It's okay. Just, we have, just barely. Uh, it's okay, buddy. We have the uh, the retirement home picked out already. But, but Rusty, only 90s kids will remember. Does that mean you'll forget? Yeah. It's probably why I'm forgetful. I grew up in the 90s and am a 90s kid, but I was born in the 80s. You didn't so have I'm, full power. Yeah, I'm, I'm at I'm at half strength. I guess that would make me at half strength too, because technically I was born in the 90s, but yeah, 97 was a little late. I really don't have memories from the 90s. So you're a 90s kid that you don't remember? I wasn't around to remember, fortunately. He forgot to remember those times. I didn't forget to remember them. I just couldn't. Don't forget to remember those times. I love how I have sung that so much that Rusty sings it, even though he has not seen the Gravity Falls episode. I have, I have not seen any Gravity Falls. Which he should. I, I, I should I soon on, before they stop streaming it. I came on pretty late to Nathan's watching of Gravity Falls, and and I have gone back and watched some of the earlier episodes, but no, it's good. I would highly recommend Gravity Falls. Also, go watch the Alex Hirsch video of, of him talking to uh, the Disney censors about it. Yeah, the Disney censors about it because it is. Frustratingly hilarious. Uh, he did have a small cameo in the new, most recent uh, TMNT movie uh, where he was the voice of one of the music. Yeah. Did he play Dipper? No. Okay. I didn't think so. Uh, he was Bill Cipher, uh, he was Grunkle Stan. Uh, and he was a bunch of other incidental. I think he was the Gucket fish. Yucket! Well, guys. I think. And we are well, guys. I think we are uh, glad that I had a backup. Because I am just about done here. Ah! Yeah, marathon safety, it's alright. Sometimes we slammy the Sammy. Sometimes slammy the Sammy. Oh, that's what you weren't doing, Rusty. You weren't checking inside the walls. Yep. There's, there was one inside this wall right here. And it was so far back in the wall, I could only see its, like, knees and skirt. And those parts 
are basically the same color with the shiny and the basic version and I could not tell if it was shiny or not and I could not get at it. Um, I'm pretty sure that it wasn't. I was I was able to throw a ball at it and trigger the fight um, and it was not shiny. And most of those ones that are clipped into the wall you can't hit with a throwing ball. Yeah. And there we go. Sorry guys, we didn't make it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a cheeky little reset. Because he doesn't want to spend that Herba Mystica. Uh, yeah. I don't blame him. So just out of curiosity, you did say that after you cut the shiny out of your Valiant, right? <gasps> oh no! Yes, I did. Actually, Worst case scenario, I didn't save. I saved right before I caught the Iron Valiant. And this will load me into uh, the fight, and then we'll be able to do it. Uh, but I definitely saved after. Uh, I, I saved after I got it, and I saved after I hyper-trained it. And I saved and then, after I changed his Terra type. And then if he's anything like Nathan and I, save it eight more times, just in case. Yeah, we're back here. Okay, are you guys ready to trade? Ready, ready. I have to go online. There we go. No. Is that a link code? Four twenty sixty nine E six three sixty five. So Just uh, pick something here. Oh, are you trading me another Iron Valiant? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm assuming you want this back. No, um, you caught a, a shiny Tetsugiri or Wonder Traded one on stream. Uh, and I figured, uh, since it was your birthday the other day, I'd get you a matching Don Dozo. Happy birthday, Ian. Oh. Hey, hey. He does it, boys. Look, he even messed it all. He did? Did, uh, did you forget to put the, uh, I thought you wanted that one in the other game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you're right. Whoop. But that was the whole point. Yep. Yep. You're right. Okay. I'm going to grab my boxes. I'm going to move this guy out of the shiny box because he's not shiny. He's yeah, some, some sort of worthless garbage iron value. Um, now I'm going to save again. If it's in your party, we'll not be able to put it in. Yeah. You right. I'm going to move this one into my shiny box. And I'll save again.
Pokemon Home will think it's time. Yeah, Pokemon Home will just do that. I'm stupid. Don't listen to me. Uh, now I'm going to quit. Look at all my shiny guys. You have some shiny guys. You are going to see one of those guys in my next monotype playthrough. Ooh. He's going to copy me and use a shiny Froakie. So I was really actually very excited for him to finally use one of the shiny forge you're bragging about. How do I quit this? You do I just you go probably home? don't want to. You probably don't want to because you want to go move it to uh, the other game. Yeah, go back to Pokemon. Go back into Pokemon. And then go into and your other game. Choose the save file you want to put it in. Yep, that I can do that without the cartridge in? Yep. Yep, correct. Oh. And then you'll have to go through the Right. Oh, I gave it a cool move set. I probably don't get to keep it. Okay. Uh, I think it should be retained. Uh, if not, then you should be able to relearn whatever move. If I have the TMs for it. Uh, no, you should be able no, to. It's oh, it, uh, relearn. it, it, it deletes moves but retains relearns? Uh, it deletes moves if you move between games. Uh, between, like, games of a different... Yeah, between regions. Yeah. Okay. Be between non-paired games. Well, As I... you are staying in Galar, it should be retained. I decided to um, build this one physically because uh, I wanted Spirit Break. I started the game, didn't I? You started a game. Oh, but it's in the game. Because I already did the... I did not know that you could move things between games without loading the games. That makes it so easy. That makes it so easy. I thought you had to have the cartridge in the... Nope. No, Pokemon is stored... Uh, it's all stored in the cloud. In the cloud. For better or for worse. There they are. And they are real close to the correct level. Four, five, and six. Okay. All right, Ooh. chat. I am going to save the game now. Uh, do you want to trade with me real quick? Yes. Uh, let's do that. Uh, I got to admit, while I do want the item, I was looking for a reason to have something to trade. Yeah, it felt weird, but I was like, eh, whatever. Uh, that should be a legit one. Also, it was a it was a bot raid, um, you know, a, a raid that somebody found and then set up a bot to just reset over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. But it but it was a legit raid to start with. Yeah. It looked like it. I am searching for a trade partner. It was not a rando from Balls.com. No, Balls Dodge. Oh, okay. Yeah, fuck the dudes at Balls.com. Yeah. Way different. Way different. You gotta watch the way you say that. That almost sounds like an ad.
Fuck, fuck the guys at balls.com. You see how it... You know, Rusty, we are looking for sponsorships. Are we? If somebody paid me money to just shill their product and they weren't, I don't know, terrible. I mean, to be fair, like, does Manscaped own the balls.com domain? I, uh, should probably talk to you guys about the offers we've been getting in the email then. Because <laughs> I'm sure that, like, all of I the offers, of... all of the offers that we've gotten to do sponsorships are like you only get paid if people use your code. Yeah. And so I, I, I have, I don't feel like we have a big enough audience for that to be worth it. I don't think we're going to get anything. Oh out no, of no, it. no, absolutely. Uh, no, but we... the moment that we get an offer to like, hey, we'll pay you a hundred dollars to say something, uh, we're into that. Yeah, we'll say. Uh, Manscaped Whatever. even. Uh, I fuck it. I do a raid shadow legend I'll, uh, thing. I'll talk about my balls <laughs> and how shaped they are for money. What's weird is that raid shadow legend wants you to talk about that. I I don't get it, but listen, their newest hero likes to be rib. Um, raid does like you to talk about that, or not raid. Um, Manscaped. Manscaped. Yeah. I've, I, I, I have been on YouTube sometime in the last five years. I have heard a Manscaped ad. What okay. are we on? 5.0 now? Uh, so, Rusty, the question now is what order are you going to do the Starbase? Uh, the correct order. Um, if, uh, so... I don't think you can see it right now, uh, but I think that roll size empty was, like, perfect. Ooh. Like, I'm pretty sure it's, like, all it, all five uh, perfect. At least. All, all five relevant stats are perfect. Well, that's, that's the thing, like... is if it's a, a route specifically, it could be, depending on what you evolve it into, physical or special. I think every stat is perfect. Kind of like me. Sure, buddy. Name a stat about me that's in person. Your college attendance record. Oh! Ho, ho. Ow! I would argue I spent the perfect amount of time in college. Oh. This is the best way to approach this one. Because suddenly you're there. Uh, so, Rusty, what order is the correct order? Uh, zigzagging across the map wildly, like some kind of um, zigzagging. It well, it's, it's like they wanted you to explore the entire thing. Um, are you intending to do them in the quote-unquote intended order? Uh, I guess. I d it doesn't really matter. Because uh, if you're quote unquote trying to do them in the intended order, she's uh, actually second. Yeah, she's actually second. Oh, who's supposed to be first? Uh, the girls. Yeah, the, the. But again, I think you're high enough level that you could do them in reverse order. You're supposed to do this one first? Correct. It's so far out of the way. You do like two gems and two titans over here. Yeah, you're supposed to do Katie. Uh, uh, I'll pull up that pin. Uh, so the first thing you're supposed to do is Katie. Uh, then uh, the cloth. Uh, then, uh, uh, Brassius, uh, then, Bombardier, and then you're supposed to take on Giacomo. Giacomo is level 21, Neil is level 27. Again, I would, if I, it were me, I would just do whatever closest to me and then work my way around. 
It's uh, Starfall bases go 21, 27, 33, 51, 56. Yeah, there's a big jump there. I did it. You did it, brother. Are you planning on using multi strike moves? Nope. Did Iron Valiant even get a multi strike move? I don't think so. Damn it. It was like. Like, lore wise, uh. Uh. It probably does get Fury Swipe. It gets a ton of moves. Oh, let me, before before I go in, let me uh, check the moves. Do you want the booster energy on it right now? Does it consume it? Uh, not permanent. Yeah, it, it, con it consumes it per fight. Yeah. But uh, like, right, they changed how that works. It used to not work like that. So that's... I see no multi strike moves in its uh, TM or level up. So there's not a reason to not have it equipped right now, correct? I can't think of any. Yeah, it just resets at the beginning of each fight. Okay, yeah, I forgot that they changed how that worked. Yeah, there are some things that consume, but that's not one of them, like the gems. Well, yeah, how it works is that any consumed item uh, is restored at the end of the it, That used to not be true. That was like either last in, in, in contemporary games. Is that true for berries as well? I believe so. Oh. So you can put a lumberry on something and it will, at the end of a fight, just have a lumberry again. Maybe misremembering that, but I believe that that was cool. Okay. Oh, now, if you use them out of battle, I think they are. Right, they consume like a potion. Yeah, potion. Somebody is messaging me like mad. I'm going to check that real quick, make sure it's not an emergency. It was important, but it was not an emergency. Somebody send you a photo of hedgehogs. Yes, it was absolutely some photos of hedgehogs. Call me Sir Knight. It's like a like in his head. Yep. Well, it's almost like she has a tendency to send me hedgehog photos in the evening around. while we're streaming around this time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who is this cool dude? I with can't a, believe... With a very I, good and not silly at all hair. I can't believe that Arvid is trying to fool us, like... Yeah, it's pretty transparent. Yo, he's a robot parent, not a trans. You don't know that. That's true. We never met the other one. I don't know if he ever met the other I was one. Gonna say, well, we don't know if the parents we've seen are cis. So this is why I needed to get that Iron Valiant. It, it, I, we believe that it does not allow you to do these if you don't have three Pokemon. Yeah, I believe you have to have three Pokemon in your party in order to do a uh, to do one of these cards. Yeah, yeah. Rusty, is it true? Are you quote jumped up? Uh, all the other kids with the jumped up kicks. 
Uh, better run, better run. Oh, it's hard. Why are they not? He's coming right, right for you. He just decapitated that turtle. Get him delayed. Took him a sec. Yeah, they're not. Aren't you supposed to be able to call out all three at once? I think you can. It's not practical, dude. I generally want to leave one per group. Man, it just Anakin Skywalkered in. Yeah. <laughs> this little school child going, okay, I would have send out my Growlithe. And then you can, like, <laughs> hit this executioner bot. No, Rusty, don't send them after the children. This is the future liberals want. <laughs> Because it's a genderless machine that's murdering everything without remorse. Do you understand the joke? It, it is uh, literally a genderless robot that is like both male and female presenting simultaneously. That, that does sound like a conservative nightmare. Does this thing change types? Yes. It's like the fire Star steel right now? No, the Starmobile will always be pure whatever type the base. Oh, okay. Should have made sure I had Aqua Cutter on. Something tells me it's not going to be a problem. I am a little bit worried about the fairy one at the end. Uh, the fairy one is not the one at the end. It's close to the end, and it's a high enough level that I'm a little bit concerned about it. Level 51, according to our set. Uh, the other thing to note about these battles with the star leaders is that these battles do not reward experience. Oh, damn. So they are basically terastalized. What do you mean? They change fully to the type. You can kind of think it like that, though there's no, uh, like, stab on its steel or poison move. Oh, okay. But yes, it is purely fight. The battles with these star bosses are very... A lot of things going on that don't normally. Yeah. The walking animation for those boots is so funny. It is very funny. 
So their nickname for her is Melly, which, if I recall correctly, is the name of the Chungus character in Legends of Arts. No, I think it's spelled different. Those steppies. He's really impressed with your delayed specifically. It was the only one she saw. Charlos and DJ D, uh, D Red are my favorite. Uh, NPCs introduced in this. You mean uh, DJ G Rave? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for cut scenes? I hope so, because we're going to have a ton of them. <laughs> so, Rusty, if you were a put-upon teenager, what type would you specialize your star with? Fighting? Uh, yeah, probably fighting. So, I see Nathan as a ground user. I do like me some ground types. See, I was I thinking think rock. I... Rock see, is my favorite type. See, I think I'm more of a rock. You guys can both be rock. As a matter of fact, uh... Both uh, Rhyme and Time were rock specialists before uh, Rhyme uh, became a ghost specialist. Yeah, but I I couldn't do, I couldn't deal with that. Also, there is another pair of siblings that uses the same type, uh, uh, Marnie and uh, Pierce. Nathan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I lovingly have been in your shadow all of my life. Yeah. Most of it my fault. As I say, you steal my goldfish. I am stealing your goldfish. I could not be the same. I would not allow myself to be the same. Um, type so you do the next closest type? I'm not saying I that. Have, like... 30 Pokemon that overlap. Listen. I think that I have the heart of a firebender, but like the rest of me is an earthbender, you know what I mean? I just think that rock would be like the type that kind of symbolizes me that. But what what do you think? What would I be? 
Well, there's the part of me that's like specializing one type is dumb. Well, yeah. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, if you had to pick one type, though. If I had to pick one type, though, honestly, I'd choose Steel. Good type. The best type. I think, I, there. I think it is the best type. I mean, it's objectively the best way to Terra your Pokemon if it's not good enough. In almost every case. I will say that VGC makes the case for fairy. Water. Grass. VGC makes the makes the point that fucking uh um uh Flutter made some Pokemon. I, I think uh, it's it's pretty uh, undisputed that uh, water is generally considered the best. Defensively, absolutely. Not even that sometimes. We saw that bear. Yeah? Yeah, Urshifu is kind of... I'm not talking about that. Uh, or yes, I am talking about that bear. Sorry, Urshifu. Uh, Ursa Luna is... Pretty scary, but Urshifu was like literally on every top ten team. Yeah, I'm not gonna be surprised if it gets banned in VGC soon. Uh, I would I very highly doubt it gets banned in VGC. VGC doesn't do ban. If you're not a mythic, you're pretty much. Now you might be limited. Um, they do the have. Let me be clear. Things are banned from VGC format, uh, but how it generally works is that the start of a generation has the most restricted uh, pool of Pokemon, and then they keep letting things in. Once a thing has been let in, it doesn't generally get let out, at least until another generation. So uh, this this next season of VGC. Uh, is still going to take place in Scarlet and Violet, and I don't see uh, them banning or shooting. No. Interesting. And they may change up, like, they may put it on a limited list with, like, the the Bruins. I would I would not be that surprised. Bruins aren't limited. I'm saying if they made a change, I would not be. Uh, the only thing I can think of is if they, they reset it to completely exclude Legends when the DLC gets sent out. And again, that that would kind of they would trickle everything back. Yeah. But the metal will adjust to the to the to the bears. They always it always does. It is kind of wild that there have been two disruptive bears that were added in the same update. I gotta say, uh, Ur Ur Ursa Luna did not make much of an appearance at Worlds. No. Oh. I'm not going to say it wasn't there, but... Especially high, higher up in both. Past, past the round robin. I had a brief thought that I should check which three Pokemon were first. And then I was like, wait. I don't think you should. Uh, which Pokemon is in the first slot matters. Not for this fight. Uh, but because you go directly into the star, <laughs> uh, the battle with the star base, uh, it would. But yes, any Pokemon you pick will be good. Uh, so I did change my Iron Valiant to be uh, Terra Fairy um, before I realized that um, Spirit Break, it gets at 91. So we will, Spirit Break will be Sir not appearing in this film. Yeah, probably. 
I might do like a ton of grinding off stream, I don't know. Uh, there was a Ursaluna on the 4th and 7th. The 12th thing over. Yeah. Well, what is its ranking uh, along, like, how common it is? Is it like the 7th most common, 8th most common? Uh, probably not that high. Because I know a lot of teams look real similar. Fluttermane at number one with 71.7%. Uh, Iron Hands at number two with 41.3%. Rapid Strike Yoshifu at 38.8%. Tornadus at 36.7%. Amoongus at 30.8%. Chien Pao at 30.1%. Lando T at 29.7%. Heatrin at 28%, Rillaboom at 27.6%, and then Chiyu at 23.8%. So Saluna did not even crack top 10. I'm not that surprised. Okay. It really doesn't make it, didn't make it much of it. She's way above our level. We gotta get the boss! Uh, according to Geek Linux, it's at 14%, or it's number 14, at around 16.77. Man, Iron Bundle kind of fell off. Yeah. Well, it was kind of a meme a little bit. It's very good. But it's also silly that it's good. Uh, I think what really happened was uh, the, the meta evolved enough. Okay. Rain was great, and then people kind of adapted to it, and basically, uh, a move gets on everything. Yeah. Oh no! What will I do about this? Rusty, he's got more blades than you. Watch out! But my sword is better. It's sacred. Fuck that car in half. Oh no, my attack. Make sure you crit, Rusty. I didn't uh, actually, if to. I recall correctly, the Starmobiles Star are immune to crit. Sounds right. The Starmobiles are like weird. Yeah, weird, weird battles. I'm not giving them a chance to show me how weird. Don't worry. Airy will happen. I actually am prepared for the fairy one. I'm a little worried yeah. about it, but I think I will be fine. No way, she's the fighting one. Uh, fucking... Airy is the fighting one. Yeah. She's the one with the highest level. Yeah. Fucking. What's his doofus right there? Fairy one. Attica. They named the wrong character Attica. Oh no, Atticus is the poison. Uh, the fairy one is... Ortega? Ortega, yeah. Uh. Listen, I really like Atticus. I really like... I really liked uh, uh, Atticus Finch. 
I know the sequel or whatever was not great to his character, but I haven't read it. And gotta be honest, it's been like I don't know, fifteen years since I've read *To Kill a Mockingbird*. I thought I thought it was pretty good. Good movie. Uh, it's a good movie. It's a good book. I was but again. I was 15 the last time I read it. So yeah. of all of the things that I was forced to read in high school, I'm like, okay, this one makes it sense. God, they made it miss this fucking Romeo and Juliet. I'm like, why the fuck are we doing? I mean, this worst classic lit. If, like, your complaint is they made me read Romeo and Juliet. I don't feel like you were abused. No. Just like, I'm like... It's it, it, pretty seminal work there. I mean, I thought it was pretty awful, actually. I'm not saying, it, you know, quality of writing aside, it's just, like, important to the culture. There are other bard things that are. I would argue that Romeo and Juliet may be the most important work by Shakespeare. If you're thinking, talking like number of things it has influenced. Bravo. I had so many more TMs. They do give you, like, a bunch of PMs. There's a fair amount of PMs you unlock. Yeah. Oh, that dog is almost looking that girl. It's implied that... I have no idea what it is. Yeah, don't really know. Kinda hangs out with me. We just got a vibe. It, it doesn't fight. Like sandwiches, though. It won't stop eating my sandwiches. It's just like me for real. Real for real. It's real powerful in a bunch of ways that aren't fighting. I, I would say that when push comes to shove, it's also real powerful. Yeah, with hold on, hold on. When push when push comes to shove, it's really powerful. It saves the story. It likes sandwiches. Oh my god. Oh, I skipped this whole zone, huh? Is it... Is it Shaggy? <laughs> <laughs> New canon nickname. <laughs> okay, you got me there. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have to do some exploring now. And then once you get to the star base, you'll have to do some exploding. More like cutting. A lot of his Pokemon. That rock oh, jumped oh. out of nowhere. I uh, coming right at me. I've seen luck. I've seen that happen to lots of kids. Worm over here. 
Yeah, but I didn't go to the town or the tower. I know. Or the Pokemon centers. I know. I just fully forgot to do that part of the game. It's alright. And you didn't need to. Well, it would have made exactly this part a lot easier. I'm going to go grab the... Um, the fly coins, points. The coins up here. Go punch a treasure chest. You can with, watch this. With watch my us. new best friend. What? Yeah. You can watch us do that on Sundays, too. Punch a treasure chest. There might be some that we can't lockpick. I think you're implying that there are none that you can't lock pick. Uh, we actually, on our, uh, to talk about our Baldur's Gate stream, we don't have a rogue. Uh, on my main playthrough, that keeps being a problem. Um, I'm considering, um, uh, you know, Cage did a, uh, a multi-class and didn't really like it. I'm considering going full bard. Uh, I did think it was very funny that, uh, uh, you guys were like spent a whole bunch of time before the stream like like metagaming like okay we're, we're gonna vary up our classes and you guys are basically down to two melee fighters and two spellcasters listen I was I was like I am going to be a barbarian that's what's and that's what's what I'm gonna do you wanted to go to the woods over there Yep, I'm gonna stop at the Pokemon Center over here, though. To Wario's Woods. Cell level and party. I'm gonna grab the Fly Zone. Uh, which, fun fact, is a game freak game. I forgot that that was. Have they done all of the WarioWare games? No, not WarioWare, Wario's Woods. Oh. They've not done any of the Wario games. I was like. I wouldn't know that. Uh, that Wario's Woods. That uh, is very the uh, um, silhouette there on the. Uh, Who very, do you think it is? Uh, it's very clearly uh, it's Riley, the uh, 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 Lucario guy. See, that's interesting because a lot of people think it looks like Blue. Uh, that was going to be my guess. Uh, Blue and Riley do cut a similar um, silhouette there. Uh, uh, and here's here's the argument people... against Riley. He doesn't have his top hat. It, uh, that part of it's cut off. Uh, some people think it looks like Stephen Stone. I can see that. Uh, personally, the character I think it most looks like is Byron, but I doubt that that's the case. From a metagame perspective, it seems unlikely for Byron to be on a billboard in this game. Yes, I am intentionally calling him Director Clavel every time. <laughs> no, it's obviously Arthur. Come on, we've played this game enough. We know. Actually, this is only my second playthrough of this game. I met on, so, on that stream. is a deep V for a principal to be wearing. <laughs> <laughs> like, that goes down past the nipple. Okay, how do I deal with poison? It probably is Gallade, huh? You. Oh, you, I don't know, Rusty. You've got two psychic types. How do you deal with poison? We haven't seen Gardevoir at all. Yes, uh, but this is the one thing that will ruin Gardevoir. Potentially. No, poison. Rusty, I don't think it will. Just kind of based on the fact that you've got 20 levels on. And the psychic type. Okay, that's fair. Actually, do you have any status moves on your team, Rusty? No. Do you have any moves that don't deal damage? No. I will pay you $5 if you can lose the fight with the uh, Starmo. 
You had to check that first. If um, you have no moves that deal that uh, uh, that are uh, status, if that are, if you have any moves that aren't, uh, if all of your moves deal direct damage, then say that. Um. So I'm not allowed to change them now. Okay. No. No, I I want you to actively with the with what you have right now actively try. Oh, to you lose. can choose whatever you do, but like if you lose, I will give you five dollars. I don't think it is possible for you to lose. I think it's technically possible, depending on speed, to maybe if they get a lucky crit with a poison move on guard. Uh, no, I can think of a way for you to. How's that? Uh, if you were to continuously spam Pokeballs, they could poison you. If you have enough Pokeballs in your inventory, you could. Or, like, you could, you could use X items or whatever. Yeah, that's not worth five bucks to me to yeah. Make do that for sit through that. a billion turns. I would also argue that me telling you how to do it violates the spirit. That's fair. Assuming you select a move every turn, I don't think it is possible for you to. I don't think it's possible for me to lose. I don't think it's possible for, like, any... Like, if you select a move with the moves that you have right now, I don't even think it's possible for you to lose. Okay. I am that confident. I don't know if you got, like, Swords Dance or Combine Dar on them or something. No, I did have Psychic Terrain, and I could re-enable that. Uh, that does remind me of a very fun uh, uh, format that sometimes people would play on Showdown uh, that was called Kill the Mailman. Uh, where the thing is that you made a team and you had to give one Pokemon on your team a uh, male item. Like, you remember back in, like, Gen 3 that you could, like, give Pokemon male to hold? Yeah. Um, well, the, the, the premise of the format was you had to give one Pokemon on your team the male item, like, you know, Harbor Mail or something like that. Uh, and then your goal was to KO the Pokemon uh, on the other team that had the mail, or every Pokemon except your mailman had to faint. So you had two possible ways of winning. Either KO the other person's mailman, or everything but your mailman dies. So if you, if you have only your mailman left, you win. win. Or you kill the other person. That makes a really interesting meta for switch out moves. Exactly. So it's, it's got like, you know, like trapping moves and like suicide moves are very common. Um, what about... Uh, oh yeah, uh, just five ab- explosion Pokemons are yeah. kind of a, a meta here, isn't it? Yep, so like then you have people like bringing damp. Yeah, damp uh, or ghost types. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, so it's like yeah. it's a very cool meta. Who do you who do you get to refrigerate explosion with? And, uh, that's that's really interesting. Um, well, the other thing is, like, if you're going to be you... cooking explosion, uh, then uh, do they throw out one of their things that yeah. dies to it so they can get down to their mailman? Yeah, it's very uh, very cool meta. Do you uh, so say I have Pikachu with my mailman? Uh, but I... Is it double or single? I think uh, it was generally played in Okay. What if Pikachu was my mailman, but I trick it over? 
but I think like trick is banned. Okay. Uh, but it may be like uh, trick always fails triple. Do your opponents know who your mailman is? No. So like, there's a meta game where like bringing Frisk is valuable so that you can identify the man. Yeah. What do you think? Can I get through all of these cutscenes in 30 minutes? I believe. I it. don't know, man. You got a lot of cutscenes. Two dude. more, two and a half more sets of cutscenes. I think, and if we go a little bit long, I think that's fine. I think I am just gonna finish it tonight so that we have a clean break. Um, at the very least, finishing the actual star raids, and then we can do all the bosses and areas here next time. Right, yeah. right, right. I think I think that is also another two-hour stream, or most of most of another two-hour stream. I do have psychic terrain. I still don't think. See, even if you had pressed the psychic terrain button there, I I don't think even with psychic terrain, I don't. Think. Uh, that stun tank at least can have uh, stench. Uh, so theoretically, there is a world where it gets five sucker punches that all make you flinch. Uh, but even then, I don't think you die if I'm looking at the number three. Maybe if they all crit. This is the first spot. Yup. The muck. What the muck? Oh, hey, this is, uh, um, well, I'm just gonna this. Yo, dog, I heard you like Reverb Room, so I put a Reverb Room on your Reverb Room. Ah, uh, the memes. To be fair, Reverb Room is a pretty pimped out rat. So you said that um, well, that stone tank could have had stench. Um, I think it does have stench, but it's possible it's just a possibility. Some trainers in this uh, game do have uh, a chance to have 50-50 of So what does stench do again? Uh, if the move makes contact, it has a chance to make you... Okay. So you said that, like, technically there was a chance that he could have, like, sucker punch five times and gotten the flinch? Yeah. Would that make him Atticus flinch then? <laughs> yes. Do you have any idea that was the joke I was working towards? I did not. You clap. Ian, you have these long walking the dog jokes that you're actually kind of good at. Where you're like walking the dog for like a really you long got that dog time. in you, I think that's what he's saying. <laughs> it's like a, a, a good 30 minute jog around the neighborhood and you finally get back to the point. I like to think that I'm good I'm good at meandering, trying to trying to kinda hide what I what I am uh, I'm going a long for. Game. Ah, you got your Atticus gunk. Close. I do got to say, for a kid's game, this plot line with the Team Star starting as the villains and uh, slowly revealing their better nature uh, throughout the course of the game, getting more and more information, uh, is kind of a cool story for a, uh, yeah, for a kid's that game. Yeah, that's a goddamn deep V for a principal there. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, Cl Clive is a real one. That's... That's, that's two or three buttons right there, man. Like, right down to here, right? Yeah. 
pretty close to the nipple line if it ain't got there. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Like, it's not doing anything illegal, but that illegal and wrong don't do not necessarily. I'm just saying, I don't want to see that large uh, that larger percentage of my principal's chest. So you having fun mashing their pack? Yep. That's all I'm doing. Well, don't worry. So you're done talking to Cassiopeia, right? So you can control your character again, right? Oh, wait, no, then you're not done talking to Cassie. Now, you're done talking to Cassiopeia. You can control your character well, we're again, right? We're only kind of done talking to Cassiopeia. Hi, Penny. Oh, hey, look. They're, they're going to start selling uh, Penny's backpack. Are you going to buy it? I am deeply considering buying it. I have that sounds like a rusty thing. I have absolutely no need for it. I wouldn't use it. But goddamn, it's cute. It is cute. So, Nathan? Yep. You're on the Nuzlocke forums right now, right? I am on the Nuzlocke forums. Why is the Nuzlocke forums, like, big header? Why does it have to blow up? Uh, it doesn't. This is a uh, specific uh, theme that I picked because I thought it looks cute. Uh, as a matter of fact, they just added a new theme that I want to check out. Uh, it's called Dream Eater, and it's Gengar. It's also got other ghosts. I should probably save, huh? Probably. Like that. No. I think I still like the slow book. Slow book? Oh, slow? Okay. The, the sigil uh, is uh, Sceptile and Charizard because those were the two starters, starters that uh, the original Nuzlocke used in his time. This one has Glaceon. I do kind of like the little symbol. Kind of dark the theme. Ones. Yeah, kind of. Called Games of Royal. This one's meant to look like the old Nuzlocke forms from back in the day. I was going to say, that, that looks. Uh... I like the slow punk one best. I, I like the kind of shelter pattern. Mm -hmm. Oh, so everybody go join the Nuzlocke forums. We're great. Mm -hmm. They're pretty cool people. I need to be more active on there. As a lifelong lover of webcomic, I, I think it's a great place to hang out. And you can check out lots of different... Uh, Written or, stories, streams, uh, screenshot logs, uh, multi-comic artists, multimedia, anything you can shake a stick at. What would you classify yours as? Uh, multimedia. Um, also, like, a ton of, like, mafia. Everybody there is a ton of Rusty, are you feeling fairly fairy? Uh, I'm ready to kill a bunch of things with poison jab. Do it. Okay, the other parents. Okay, the other parents! I gotta say, with his level, his uh, Glade and uh, Iron Valiant may actually uh, take damage from the uh, auto. We'll see. 
he may need to actually make use of the uh, vending machine. Yeah, I didn't realize till like my second or third foot playthrough. Like, I knew I, it had said it, but I hadn't like done it in my first playthrough and stuff. I was like in my second playthrough, and one of them got hurt. I'm like, what the fuck do I do about this? And then I remembered the vending machine, and I'm like, how are these being powered? That is a good question. Presumably, there aren't outlets here, and like the desolate side of a giant mountain. Well, yeah, like, this is, like, the mo one of the most remote coasts on in the, the region. in the region. Like... I mean, are they just, like, running a bunch of extension cords to the lighthouse? I think you guys are overthinking this and that um, electric Pokemon exist. Yeah, they are probably just like plugged into a Magnemite or something. You open up the back of the vending machine, you see a Magnemite, and it goes, Yeah, yeah it's 11. 11. Are we the only people to make fucking Flintstones jokes on live on Twitch? In my soul, I am a 65-year-old uh, man. Like him. I gotta say, I wanted less of that. I really can't rock a mustache, and if I were to be able to rock a mustache, it would not be that mustache. Yeah, if that was were... kind of a world-altering event that ruined that style of mustache in particular. If I had the ability to, I would, I would probably have like a like you know, like a neck beard. No, that's what I do have, Nathan. If I had the ability to, I would oh, probably... One of those, like, duck guy beard beards? Like, one of the giant trashy ones? Oh, no, god, no. I hate that that was came in fashion. Yeah. No, but I would, like... I would probably... keep some sort of facial hair. I don't like my neck. Uh, I've always had a... I was always had the the fact you do like a, a like an evil spot. Go oh God, no! I don't like goatees. They they look better on certain people. Certain people look good with them. I do not think I would look good with one. You need a narrow face to look good with a goatee. And I don't have a narrow face. I have a a wide chubby cheek. And, and you and I both kind of have square heads. I have yeah. I have the similar problem. No, I would. I would probably. I would probably have if I could. Would, I, would you have a rusty style shaggy beard? No, I would probably more more in line with like what Zach has. Oh, probably. Oh, like Cyber. Well, he's got a full beard. He just keeps it pretty well trimmed. But, so would you like to like mutton chops? No. The the problem is I actually don't hate how mine looks. The problem is it's not is that it's patchy. Like if it were like if it were like actually there, I would probably just like let it. I don't hate how the sides when I do let it grow out. I don't hate how the sides look. I hate that there's like patchiness on like my, my chin and neck. That's the part that, that I do not like. I like how uh, Gardevoir, her attack is just mind corrupt. Also, Rusty, uh, do you know the reference that Nathan's making there specifically? Uh, say it again. 
Because like, he, he does like the mind crush from Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, uh, super, no I don't. More of the abridged thing. Well, I think like the, the name came from it, but it's still a thing he did in the anime. I think the like the actual anime which he does still call it a mind crush. Looks like I'm a high enough level and I'm not having to uh No, no you're not. Alan. The auto battles are a little weird. Well, I think it gives you a little bit, in, uh, especially in the star rate. Yeah. Prove you are the superior guard of all. Yeah. The way it calculates the auto battle is a little. Weird. Like type is a big factor, but it's not the only one. Okay, level disparity. Level disparity plays a role. I think move sets do influence it very slightly, but not much. I think whether you have a super effective move influences it. Um, and it's like like stat total influences it. There's a needlessly huge amount of math that goes into it. Yeah, if, if Game Freak designed it, there's a lot of math under the hood that doesn't make it different. I doubt there's a big item on Do you ever, if you ever want to like, just hurt your brain looking at numbers, go look at the uh, catch formula. Like, oh, the catch formula is an action. It used to be worse. <laughs> They did kind of simplify it a little bit. What was that, like, Gen 6 when they changed this kit for me? It's a little different. Yeah, but they made, like, a... There was, like, one generation where they made a game. Actually, they did. You are just proving that you are the superior fairy type here, aren't you? Yeah. Um, something, something. The best, uh, canonically, the the best psychic type isn't psychic. Because, like in the lore, it was supposed to be an attempt to create the. Uh, the perfect psychic Pokemon and it's fairy fighting. Fun fact, this Rev of Room is the only Pokemon in the game that has the ability Misty. Rusty. Oh. Hey, when you get a second, can you re reshare stream? Yeah, reshare stream. We're, we're getting a little choppy. The stream quality kind of. Honestly. Much better, thank you. Very much. Why did sound drop out just then? I don't know. I don't hear anything anymore either. Is it back for you now? Uh, you on your, your camera, camera is, stuck. is stuck on our thing. Uh, it's stuck on my preview too. It is also stuck on. Yeah. Okay. Um. Man, this is just in time for me to have to make a decision. That hit me a lot harder than I thought it was going to. Oh, thank God.
I'm now just going to use the fairy move instead of the skill move. Magical door. Hey, remember when I called that? Yeah, I remember that. I Hold on, I'm trying to fix my camera here. There you go. There it goes. He's back. We're back. Back, baby. We're back. back. We have 10 minutes till the end of stream. Do you think we can go beat the fighting types? I think I can go beat them. I don't think I'm going to do it in 10 minutes. If we need to go a little longer. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Uh, we're going to mute just a second. Okay. We should be back. Hello. Hey, you're still in a cupcake. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. We will still be in a cutscene in a couple of minutes. Some say we were always in a cutscene. Never not in a cutscene. Talking to people, look at that. Yup, I told you, a couple minutes. Did you guys notice that the inside of the star makes an S? What do you think it stands for? Something. I think it's just a lightning bolt. Like us. Just like us. 
we're the real team star. Yeah, our name definitely doesn't have enough uh, disparate pieces to it. We need to add more lore. <laughs> well, for us to be Team Star, that means we would have had to have been horrifically bullied as children. That doesn't sound right. Carpet Noodle, I appreciate the suggestion, but I will not be taking a massive bong rip for the stream. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank you. First time chat, I would love it if this is what you do. You go to streams you've never seen before <laughs> and just suggest a massive bong rip for the stream. I mean, I know what Twitch is. That's not like. It's exactly what I do. Thank, thank you. Hell yeah. Like I know what Twitch is. He's that that one. Uh, that probably hits more 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 often than uh, that it does. <laughs> <laughs> Follow simple. Well, well, thank you for fall. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my friend, I do not have a bong to rip. Uh, I uh, and we do have to have the dis uh the disclaimer that we live in a place where, where it's only medically legal, and uh, all of that. So, rip us, I guess. Rip us like that bong. <laughs> you also two thirds of us are like. Allergic. So. Bong. Rip. No, no moral problem, but, uh. A medical one. What's the best way to get over here? Is it down the mountain? It's probably down the mountain, isn't it? You can probably just make a straight line. I can't just make a straight line. There is a big mountain. And climb it. You have all of the abilities. I suppose I do, huh? Yeah. And you can set it as a waypoint to make it easier to hit that. It doesn't sound right. Hey, look, now you can catch your iron bound. Okay, I missed the joke there. What did you get? You got an ultra ball.
Good climbing, Rusty. Oh, thanks, buddy. I meant to ask you, uh, why do we fall, Mash the Wine? Uh, so we can climb back up. That's not right. Can't even uh, so we can log. don a spandex form-fitting suit and fight criminals in the streets. I'm Kovac. And in the case of Catwoman, in the sheets. <laughs> and Talia. Huntress. He does fight quite a few villains in the sheets, huh? <laughs> the Joker. He does fight quite a few villains in the sheets, huh? Super bad and occasionally. There was a actual storyline that was like that was literally the and there was only one bed trope. Oh. Let's see if I can find the panel and post it. Which you can find on our Discord. Do exclamation point core. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Sir Knight. For those that are uh, just getting here, um, Sir Knight is the uh, Japanese translation of Gardevoir's name, but has a Sir in it. So I figured it was a good name to encapsulate both Gardevoir and Valid. Comic for ants. A little bit. It's really funny that of the two of them, because one of them is under the sheets, one of them's not. It's clear clear that it's Bruce under the sheets and uh, um, Clark not. Um, but it's very funny that. I mean, to be fair, he yeah. can survive the cold of space. Yeah. But it's just it's just funny that uh, that Bruce is under the sheets. There. Here's the whole thing. Also, look at the grip on that pillow. He is. He's gripping that pillow in half. Yeah. I like his rich person collared black uh, pajamas. I like the fact that Clark is wearing his glasses to bed so that you know he's Clark Kent. Well, they, they this artist draws all men similarly, so you have to have something to, to distinguish them. Well, and... They the, do look like brothers. Well, the joke is that Bruce and Clark do actually like look, look a lot look, alike. look a lot alike so much so that Bruce had uh, there, there is an episode of Batman the animated series where uh, Superman stands in for uh, Batman. Well, uh, there there's a story uh, comic storyline where uh, where Bruce has Clark stand in for him as Bruce Wayne on a yacht and like Deadshot or somebody comes uh, it's either Deadshot or. Uh, um, Deathstroke? Or Deathstroke. It may be Deathstroke. No, I'm thinking about it. I have seen that. The, the comic book for Yeah. Where, like... It's like Superman's, like, drunk. Yeah. Because, uh, like, he tries to poison him or whatever, and because he's, you know... He's fucking Superman. It just, <laughs> yeah, it just gets him, like, super wasted, and he, like, super sneezes him or something, <laughs> like, off the yacht.
that is very funny. As a matter of fact, there's also an episode of Brave and the Bold where Batman and Superman swap places. Kind of, too. Um, let's be fair, Bruce Tim only knows how to draw one man and one woman. Yeah. Hey, Terry looks a little different than, uh... His face looks a, a little, little different. different. Yeah. Men come in one shape, women come in another shape. There is no other body style. I do love... Every woman is a big boob pinup. Every man is an upside down triangle. Yeah. Uh... I was like this one because it is literally just a lane. Yeah, you don't have to go find anything. It's yeah. Just... It's linear. It's fight alley. You fight your way through the alley. If they weren't cowards with the anime, they would give us, uh, they would give us, like, a, uh, uh, like, a, uh, one-take style, like, brawl, uh, through this place. Like, Whatever Pokemon that the Pro Tag has of that, just like, you know, just get, get to like kick ass through this. But I doubt we'll get something like that. I don't care the genre. More shows need to have the, uh. Have a one -er. Have the Daredevil, uh. Uh, one -er. Always see. Yeah. I don't care what the genre is. I. <laughs> It could be a fucking uh, rom com. Somebody gets somebody for no fucking reason gets a gets a hallway beat him up water. I think Owen Wilson could pull it off. I didn't know if he could, and then I saw Loki, and then I think absolutely. Man, I sure am ready for Loki season two. And... They've released some trailers, it looks good. I have seen them. Um, it looks, I don't know if I would say it looks good yet. It definitely looks mysterious. Yeah. Um, who is the best friend in, um, uh, how, how I Met Your Mother? Big, the big guy. Um, oh, uh, yeah. I know who you're talking about. No, yeah. I don't think that's his name, Nathan. Um, I think he starts with a dick. Yeah, um, hell, I think he could do a hallway water. Oh god, it's gonna bug me, but I feel. Oh guy, how I. Jason? Yeah, but. Jason Z. Yeah, Jason Z. Hell. Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris been in a wrong com. It depends on how you count, um, uh, um, Doctor Evil, Doctor Horrible, or Doctor Horrible. It's comedy. There's supposedly romance in that. The hammer is my penis. Does Friends not count? That, that's a sitcom, not a rom-com. Yeah. Okay. And he was in, again, how when I, I When I think of rom-com, I think of Owen Wilson and, like, Paul Rudd. That's why I thought of Jason Segel as well. But, yeah, like, those early 2000, like, opposed Jennifer Addison. Yeah. Tom Hanks hallway water. Uh, 
Has there been a movie where Tom Hanks has been a fighter? Depends on how you count the Polar Express. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, like... Uncanny Valley mocap oneer. I'm down for it. I'd watch it at least once. Rusty, you just made him angrier. You made him more powerful. He's pressing the wrong button with Annihilate. That's true. There's two buttons you press with Annihilate. It's the bulk up button, and then it's the, um, it's the rage fist button. Yeah, I really don't know why it goes for uh, close combat there. Wow. Maybe a pre roll crit or something. But, uh. I don't know. There for a while, uh, they were trying to make Justice Timberlake a, a wrong Tom after. I think, like, a lot of people have skipped those toes. Well, and, like, he was also. He was also in that action movie. Oh, God. Uh, it was. It was a really stupid premise. Like, everyone had, like, a time on their arm. Um, oh, God. It's gonna bug me now that I, um... I think Mark Ruffalo was kind of famous for being a rom-com actor before he was the host. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, uh... And the state. Yeah. Yeah. Killian Murphy was in it. He was like the hunter. Like everyone's born with three got one five. Everyone's born with time on their arm and you work for your time. Yeah, that's true. Seems high concept. Director. Andrew Nichols. Oh man, his defense rose a lot with stamina, huh? Yeah, it does that. Stamina! He's getting shifty. Also, the only Pokemon that, uh, I think, Revolution. Oh, he is shiftier again. Now, now I get to go first. Hey, yeah, he just kill it. Yeah. He sped up. Heal him! So that he could speed up. You gotta go fast to go fast. Listen, I've pressed the setup move twice in a row and regretted it before on. Uh... I am. But, like... There are some, like, known actors. From there on up. Oh, uh... You recognize him? Uh, that's the, the Big Bang Theory boy. That is Big Bang Theory boy. Uh, he's been in a lot of stuff. Mostly TV, but... Oh, you'd recognize him, motherfucker. He's old man voice in Justice League World World. Of course I recognize him. Oh, he's done a lot more voice acting. I noticed. Oh, he, he voiced Barry Allen in the Justice Hmm. He's done the Flash and stuff. Apparently he's Negative Man in the Doom Patrol. Oh, but he was like... Uh, there was... It was one of those USA... Oh yeah, white collar. He was the he was the main guy in one of the USA shows. White collar is the one that Meghan Markle wasn't. Right. 
The one that Megan Markle... That is the beginning and end of what I know. Uh, the one that uh, Megan Markle was in was Suit. Yes. Um, somebody wrote something about Suits that... Apparently it became, like, really big in the summer. Like, Suits had, like, the highest, like, Netflix viewership of any show. Yeah. Well, so so somebody wrote about that, um, and they were like, so it's, like, that perfect, like, you know, if you actually think about it at all, it's, none of it makes sense. It's all stupid. But, like, but, like, um, but you, that's, that's, like, the perfect thing to put on in the background. You look up, you see what's going on, you work for 30 minutes, then you look up again, and even though you've missed 30 minutes of the show, you haven't missed anything. I know that uh, yeah. a- NCIS really hit that vein for a lot of people. Yeah. It's... I always kind of thought of those as sort of that. Well, where NCIS is for, like, the boomers, yeah. Suits and all was, like, for, like, the millennium. It was that for the millennium. Kind of, kind of what. They, uh, they, I feel, felt like they yeah. kind of scratched the same thing. Yeah. Uh, which I could never get into shows that, like dip in and out like that. Yeah. I, I, that is just not the person I am. I oh, think. I got into them as, like, a teenager, and I think that was that was scratching the... I was just trying to say, like, like, I didn't enjoy watching NCIS yeah. or something like that. It was just, like, uh, it, it, that was what I was doing, is I was yeah. watching NCIS. I can't watch NCIS while also doing something else. Yeah. Like, you, you're describing. Yeah. I am watching NCIS. Yeah. Exactly. I, I can't, like, half pay attention to a show like that. Well, you can't half pay attention. No, I can't. You weren't good at it as a kid. And... I, I don't split my attention. I, I do one thing at a time. Yeah. Nathan is task-oriented. No. That's, that's, that's a thing I've had to accept about my kids. Yeah. I, I have noticed that I used to be better at multitasking, and... But like, it just everyone told everyone has said, yeah, that goes away fairly quickly. You know, you get you get past your early twenties and and you start losing that ability pretty quick. I have noticed. Rusty, you did it. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us for tonight. Um, next week, uh, I will be doing the last school fights. I will be doing the Elite Four. And we'll be trying to get through all of Area Zero, all in the two-hour stream. Uh, you also need to do the uh, Arvin fight at the lighthouse. Uh, yes, you're not wrong. Uh, I'll probably do some grinding off-stream. Because uh, having a, even having Pokemon at the level at the end game, if you've only got three of them instead of six. The the uh, last fight can be hard. And maybe um, actually beat beat this uh, Miasterata. Yep. Yeah, I have a secret weapon in that uh, Iron Valiant now. Yeah. Um, which has 10 stats more than pseudo legendaries? Uh, 590. So uh, 10 points less than something 10 like points your... less, but 10 points over other. Um, I don't remember. Paradox I... Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, Roaring Moon and Iron Valiant are higher than the rest of the Paradoxes, uh, as are uh, the new legendary ones, Iron Leaves and Walking Moon. Right. And the um, others as... Okay. Uh, okay. Come back on Friday. We'll be doing either Monster Hunter or something. Uh, there's been some talk about changing up a little bit. Um, uh, and then on Sundays we do Baldur's Gate. Yeah. I'm very excited for that. Bye. Uh, I'm filming things. Bye. Bye.